Say savage, stay savage, your boy, Cino Ventura, what's poppin' today? It's Wednesday. You know what goes down on Wednesday. Guess what? We got our Boruto episode. You guys know, we have been tweaking for this episode of Boruto because this is the episode we're supposed to have some intel, some insight, shit like that on Boruto's quote-unquote Byakugan or mysterious dojutsu. So now, things have finally been put on a table. Now, if you look at the title, you probably already know what we're about to discuss as far as, you know, what's going on with the eyes and shit like that. So guys, if you guys are excited, make sure you hit that like button by hitting that like button is let us know that you're enjoying the content and give me motivation to continue to make more now with that being said i hope you guys are ready for today's re episode review you know what i'm saying if you haven't watched it please i recommend watching it before watching this review i know some people always get caught up in the comment section with some goddamn spoilers and i'd be like yo why are you read why are you watching this if you ain't you know watch the show uh you ain't read the manga chapters what you doing baby like you not live like what you doing so with that being said let's get it Whipping all this dope up in the trap house We fuck all you bitches at the trap house I can't trust you, all, can't give you real address I can't trust you, all, can't give you real address It don't mean that be like Jerry Stagger I might fall in love with my trap house Alright, so watching Boruto, I'ma say this I don't know what it is about Boruto compared to Naruto, but when you watch an episode of Boruto, you know, you start getting engulfed in the series, it seems like the episode just is it's just gone. It's just like over. Like as soon as you start to like get into it, you're like, okay, you know, this is gone. It's just simply simple and clean. It just disappears. The episode just fades away. Like these episodes feel so goddamn short. I mean, they put a lot of stuff in these episodes, but then when they happen, it's like everything is like blowing by. Like everything is just moving rapid pace. I guess maybe it's all Always switching to dynamic different scenes and shit like that something's always happening that makes it where the episode's always going by fast i know it's completely off topic but have you ever sat down and just looked at an episode of boruto and then you got to the end of it and you was just like bro i feel like i've been watching this for about five minutes then you look at it it's actually been 23 minutes but it just feels like it's really fucking short i don't know that's just been kind of my dilemma with boruto as of lately but all right so talking about today's review you know what i'm saying this has been the one thing everybody's been talking about for the last week. You know, we got the message from Toniri Utsusuki talking to Boruto about the Star of Hope and talking to him in his dream. Now we have Boruto going to go ahead and test out and see if he has to be Akugama against Hayashi or in Hanabi. You know what I'm saying? So straight off in the back of the episode, you know, we thought he's about to fight up against his grandpa. You know, you, you thought he about to throw hands with his grandpa. That's one thing I thought was really about to happen. But at the same token, we did get intel like prior, you know, those spoilers and leaks talking about how Hanabi was gonna be the one to fight against him you know what I'm saying and I saw the reason why Hanabi switched up she was like yo you can't fight him dad because if you fight him and the Byakugan don't manifest you're not gonna hold back you're gonna keep trying to like punish, punish him you're gonna keep trying to put him down and shit like that he's gonna end up hating you he's no longer gonna like you and one thing about the grandfather if you guys see from like the previous episode he's become more carefree he's more like on some happy shit you know what I'm saying because before you know when you first seen him he always serious he always mean mugging he ain't never fucking smile like when i first seen him i was like god damn the times have really changed you mr hugo leader like that shit has really like swayed you from how you used to be because if you look at his old character until now you know he was really like a pissy pouty face you know what i'm saying now he's all lucky go happy so basically hanabi steps in she's like yo you can't fight him further because you know he's gonna take it too serious you won't hold back you won't know how to hold back against boruto so you know uh hanabi goes ahead and tests boruto boruto pulls out some stokes now this is probably one of my favorite fight scenes so far you know what I'm saying because of the pure fact that in the Iwabi fight uh, that because of the pure fact you know like the way the acrobatics the way Boruto does everything is just really dope you know what I'm saying and like he pushes Hanabi into a corner I mean first off you know it's one of those things where he wasn't really doing extremely well you know you can see he was trying but she was letting him know look you got the I got the Byakugan I can see everything bro like it don't make no sense to try to make no sneak attacks it don't make no sense to try to plot on me and shit like that I know every direction you're coming from before you're coming because if you guys don't know the Byakugan is near three 16th division, you know what I'm saying, except for one blind spot at the back of the vertebrae behind the neck, but that's one of those things where, you know, Boruto had to really just grab his nuts and just be like, you know what, I'm a fighter straight up. During the fight, we have uh, Naruto sitting there kind of doubting Boruto, you know what I'm saying, he is, he's like in disbelief that Boruto has to be Akagane and shit like that, you know, and it's one of those things where, you know, how, I mean, I guess he's trying to say that Boruto's just trying to get attention, and later on he does say that in the episode, but... 
Honestly, I feel like if Boruto was trying so hard and if Boruto was actually out there fighting, I don't think it'll be a call for attention because if that was the case, Boruto wouldn't wouldn't agree to go to like the farther compound and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like yo, Boruto's a lot different from Naruto. And Naruto did a lot of shit for attention back in the day, and I guess he's putting all that on Boruto, but Boruto's not doing shit for his attention. You know, I mean, later on in the series, we start seeing Boruto do different things for his attention, but as of right now, we just seen Boruto just doing shit on the pure fact of him. You know what I'm saying? It was wasn't like the tuning exams in the Boruto movie and shit like that when he wanted his dad to notice him. It was more so him wanting to be his own person, him wanting to do his own thing. So, you know, Boruto later on continues the fight with Nabi and he backs her into a corner. I'm talking about, I didn't expect this from Boruto. Boruto just went straight at her neck. I'm talking about kunai flying. And this shit was actually pretty decent. Like, I was just looking at Boruto and I was like, damn, you really like pulling out all the stops. And one thing that I noticed, like, he had backed her so far into a corner that she had to use the A trigger and I was just like what the fuck bro like that's how bad this man had put her into a corner and the fact that he was able to put somebody with the Bigakugan in a corner at, at a such early age I know she did talk about like she wasn't gonna go full force she was gonna hold her back a little bit but at the same token when they all started rushing her she did look surprised she was like appalled she was actually shocked that Boruto would try to pull something off like that and you know and it's one of those things where Boruto went so hard that no everybody around him had no choice but to believe you know that he he believed that he had the Byakugan because why would he try so hard why would he just go so hard and keep pulling out all the stopes you know just to continue to like be proven told that you know you're just doing this for attention you know I mean this man Boruto was fighting to like his last breath this man was dead ass on the ground uh you know Hayashi was like yo you can't can't go home you know you might as well just stay here for the night because it don't make sense so you know Boruto sitting out and Nabi talks about how you know maybe it's not the Byakugan maybe it's a completely different power maybe it's something along those lines and shit like that and that's one thing you know we seen from Boruto you know they're putting different twists on everything you know everybody was in the beginning was saying it's the Byakugan it's not the Tentagon blah 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 you know it's not this it's not that and then like now people are saying it's the Tentagon again because of Torneria which was the original user of the Tentagon and shit like that it's one of those things where Hanabi basically sat down with Boruto and she told him she was like look maybe it's not the Byakugan but it's, if you believe it's a power I do believe that you're telling the truth because you know why would you lie and shit like that so Boruto later he gets hungry after playing around with Hanabi and uh, him and Wari and he forgot to eat his meat and potatoes so oh, he was just like fuck you know he heads out like Boruto the kids with the next generation always have this issue where they always heading out at night you know what I'm saying this is some uh, like some trap shit like these niggas are some fucking goons they niggas are really about the nightlife because every time I look at an episode you know I see Boruto going to the convenience store at night I see Shikadai waiting on him I see Mitsuki pulling up out of nowhere you know what I'm saying they're always going to the convenience store at night you know they just sneaking off when I was 12 bro and I left the house at that time, I probably got a foot up my ass. I mean, I had to be inside before the street lights came on. And now watching a new generation just go about whatever they want to do and shit like that. It's kind of dope to see. At the same time, it's just like, yo, who the fuck watching these kids? But I mean, most of these kids are fucking dangerous. You know what I'm saying? They got fucking ninjutsu and shit already. So I guess that makes sense. So he runs into Sarada, which is really funny because I was thinking about Sarada a lot. I've been thinking about Sarada for a while now because one thing is for certain, Sarada does have the Sharingan if you guys have played, you know, the game or you've seen the movie, you do, you do see Sarada with the Sharingan, you know, and it's one thing for certain, we ain't get no fucking background about her eyes, we getting the buku shit about fucking Boruto eyes, if you guys don't know what buku means, buku means a lot, I get that question a lot, but we getting a lot of shit about Boruto's eyes, versus, you know, we're not hearing anything about the Sharingan, I guess they made, probably made it where, you know, the last season of Naruto was, was Naruto Shippuden, and Naruto was focused about the fucking Sharingan and the Tail Beast and shit like that, and now this one's gonna focus on the Byakugan, because the Byakugan really didn't get as much limelight but you know he runs into Sarada he starts talking about the movie and shit like that you know he's looking at the movie poster she starts talking about how you know you seem like you're a fan and shit like that you know kind of putting my man on blast and then he talks about you know him trying to unlock the Byakugan and shit like that and then you know he sees like this weird shroud of chakra because it's one of those things where Boruto don't see it when he wants to see it. It's one of those things where it's just not he's he can't activate it when he wants to activate it. He sees the chakra whenever it's weird. Like whenever the chakra's fucked up, it's just he's just he's around. So basically Boruto just goes after the guy, you know what I'm saying? And then guess who it is? It's the star of the movie. This man got overweight, this man got fat as fuck. I'm just like, yo, how the fuck did this happen in the span of like an episode, bro? My man dead ass 
put on a shit ton of weight, you know what I'm saying? And he was really pissed off because everybody's making fun of him and saying it's not them and shit like that. So, you know, Boruto was obviously like, yo, you a fat ass. You're not my favorite character. You're not the star of the movie. I'm not trying to be like, yo, fat ass. You know, Boruto's making fun of him. And like I said, for the most part, we've seen this chakra take over people that was in an emotional state. So obviously, somebody going around calling you fat all day, you're going to feel some type of way. You're going to feel some type of distressness. And sorry to did follow against follow Boruto and shit like that. So I was like, okay, this is probably one of the coolest things things that I get to see this episode because Boruto and Sarada haven't really done much together. We've seen them challenge each other, but this one is going to be proving us to show like, hey, these two are actually going to be like, you know, doing something together. They got some type of teamwork and some type of shit like that. And, you know, we see Sarada pull out the fucking giant demon wind shirt, you know what I'm saying? She throws that bitch and then, you know, we see Boruto come out as a transformation dude too and shit like that and he start flinging his shadow clones and shit. It reminded me of old times, you know, it reminded me of like that Sasuke in that Naruto era when, you know, Sasuke always kept his demon wind shirt and when Naruto used to disguise himself as a demon wind shirt and shit like that, you know, it's one of those things where you could just sit there and you're like, okay, you know, I'm really starting to vibe with this. This is starting to, you know, give me that old nostalgia feeling like that. And basically, after they defeat the main character, the, the, the movie and shit like that, um, is his name Ka Kagami? Some, I always say shit wrong. Yeah, somebody butchered me for saying it wrong on stream. But fuck it anyways. After they defeated him, you know, they was basically sitting there talking. And then, you know, Sar Sarada basically told Boruto, you're not a liar. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe you because you haven't lied about anything. You're just an idiot. So she was basically saying, you're not a liar. You're just a dummy. You know what I'm saying? You do dumb shit. I haven't heard about you lying ever before. So that's one thing about Boruto. Boruto is rather honest compared to a lot of other people. It's just, you know, he always get caught up in these, like, dumbass situations. So that pretty much sums up this episode, you know, we haven't really got any, like, true details on the, uh, the dojutsu that Boruto has, but it's one thing for certain, there is some conf confirmation that it's not the Byakugan, like, that's one thing a lot of people are, like, about to argue about until it's proven completely 100%, but Hanabi did say it's not the Byakugan, Hayashi did say it's probably not the Byakugan, it's probably a different power or some shit like that, why else Boruto would be trying so hard, you know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things where you just gotta kinda look at it and just accept it for what it is. Let let me know your personal thoughts and your personal opinions about this episode. Let me know your how you feel about what's going on and shit like that in the Boruto universe. You know, let me know your favorite moment from this episode in the comment section below. Honestly, mine was mine was probably Boruto versus Hanabi. I thought that was a pretty dope fight. And with that being said, my name is Shino Ventura. Stay true and stay real. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Until next time, see you guys later. Boise!